YouTube back again with another video and today I want to talk a little bit about um, still on the topic of protection I know uh, I've done a few reviews on the knee pads and elbow pads and things of that nature but today I want to get into body protection and so um, <laughs> I kind of been uh, researching this after my last fall because um, the thing about it is when you're mountain biking at some point in time you're going to take a fall all right if you're new to this if you're new to this sport um, it may haven't it may hasn't happened to you as of yet but eventually at some point in time you're going to take a fall and more than likely it's probably going to hurt I don't wish that upon anyone but um, it's kind of like when I had my motorcycle back in the day everyone told me it's only a matter of time before you get into an accident like it's bound to happen and sure enough about seven eight months later I got into an accident um, so it's just something that's going to happen it's just the nature of the sport so um, I've taken a few serious falls since I've been doing this for the past year and um, the last one really kind of hurt and I'm actually I should have went to the doctor because it left a scar but also it's very tender and it still feels very sore and this is almost what like three weeks a month later so something isn't right in there but um, but yeah it's just one of those things so but when I took that fall I kind of landed on my my shoulder first and I, a little bit about me I got into a motorcycle accident and shattered my uh, collarbone in three sections and so anytime I land or, or hit this this area you know it, it, it does cause pain so I needed to find something to protect that area and it really didn't dawn on me until I fell on it um, that body protection is something that I need to invest into so I wanted to get something light I wanted to get something not too bulky I didn't want to go out there looking like Batman or Superman on a bike with, with a padded suit um, so I needed to find something very thin and very light there are hundreds of options out there online um, there's not a lot of videos that people do reviews on these products um, but uh, I tried to find something that didn't look too crazy um, I didn't want a long sleeve because long sleeves it's just too hot here in Florida I'm not going to use this every single time that I ride but on trails that I'm not familiar with or trails that I know that can be a little little bit more technical or, or challenging I definitely am going to wear this um, this body protection so this is what I went with and again um, my bike shops don't have a lot of body protection in stock they may only have like one or two options so a lot of it's going to be trial and error of buying something and then if it doesn't fit or it doesn't look right or it doesn't do the job then sending it back without further ado is the Troy Lee design short sleeve uh, the model number is UPS 7850 body protection and so um, this thing right here first off how light it is is just ridiculous how how um, light and um, and ventilated this thing is there's holes all over it so uh, I actually tried it on already and you can feel the breeze blowing at any time you have this thing on the problem is I couldn't find this thing in my size I think this came out in 2012 let me see if it has a year model number on here no this one doesn't but I think it came out in 2012 so it's been out for a while and um, it's hard to find anything with my size on it and so uh, I mean with the because I wear a medium um, I found a few extra larges out there on some websites I found you know some some um, some larges but I couldn't find a medium because after doing my research on this thing everyone told me if it's true to size buy something that you would normally wear like I normally wear a medium to large t-shirts but everyone kept saying buy your true size so my true size is a medium that's what I got and that's what fits yeah all of these the padding in this so we're talking about upper back protection lower back protection we're talking about shoulder protection we're talking about upper arm protection we're talking about side protection we're talking about chest protection we're talking about torso protection we're talking about lower neck protection we're talking about protection all over this shirt now is it overkill it could possibly be there's no way in the world I'm gonna fall and hit all of these spots you know when I take a fall but the thing is is that um, at some point I'm going to hit some of these areas and like last time when I fell this was the area that needed to be protected right here and it does have that protection 
Um, the long sleeve one has the lower arm and the um, the uh, the wrist protection, not wrist protection, but this area right here, I can't think of protection on it as well. Um, but I just didn't need that. I already have elbow pads for all of that stuff. So, but I'm gonna try this on for you guys. Let you let you see how it uh, look how it looks on um, when I'm wearing it, and uh, let you guys get a feel for that. Um, a lot of people complained about how hard it is to take off. Um, I really didn't come into that problem because the underarms are ventilated and has an open air and so I just reach under that to actually start to take it off and it hasn't been a problem as long as you have a shirt underneath it. Um, I can see how if I'm out here wearing this just alone and I start sweating it can get sticky and probably definitely hard to take off at that point. Um, another cool thing about this is if you don't feel like you need all of this protection all of these pads are removable. So you just lift it up and you can actually see the pads right in here. You can take these pads out. I don't want to because it looks like it may be a challenge to get them back in. But if I just felt like this was overkill, every single one of these pads on here can be taken out. And it just I'm just showing like the little sections. All of these have these sections on it. So if you feel like, oh, it's too much or it's too heavy or it's too hot, whatever sections you feel like you don't need you can take off which is another really cool feature which a lot of these body protection shirts do not have that um, so without further ado let me put this bad boy on and you want to start with the sleeves first just because of that open air hole right here because you can easily put your arm through that and skip over the whole portion of the shirt <coughs> And this is it so as you can see like I feel like I have on if the, the weight of it feels probably like the weight of a light sweater if that makes sense and um, as far as it being hot and I'm sitting directly in the Sun right now um, it's not hot at all I actually the breeze is blowing right now and I can feel the wind blowing through it there are holes everywhere in this shirt so I don't think that's going to be a problem either now I don't want to wear this as a actual shirt when I go out every single time. Well, I'm not going to ride it. I'm going to use it every single time that I ride, but I want to actually put a jersey or a shirt um, over this product. So I brought a shirt out just to test that out. Now this shirt is a size medium as well, but normally when I go riding, I use anything that has any type of breathability to it. So um, I'm a big Nike fan, so I usually wear like dry fit shirts um, when it comes to dry fit though there's different types of dry fit let me just say that and when I say dry fit I'm talking about the actual Nike dry fit technology people call breathable shirts or clothing dry fit but everything isn't dry fit um, that's the actual Nike terminology when you start looking at like um, Adidas or Under Armour or whatever other company they use other terminology for their breathable uh, ventilated clothing but as far as the dry fit goes what I find best for ventilation is the running um, clothing the running clothing especially the shirts have probably the most ventilation than any other type of dry fit shirt if you get like the training shirts or um, some of the other workout shirts they're not as ventilated even though it may say dry fit it wicks the sweat away it's just not as ventilated as the running materials are so or the running shirts so this is a running shirt and I'm just going to put this on and you saw how easily that happened now yeah you're going to see some of the pads through the shirt I'm not saying that you're not going to see it at all but let me tell you something I would rather have this right here as protection when I fall and maybe it just look a little bit bulky than not to have it at all um, so yeah of course some things are going to stick out um, I'm just looking in the reflection of this yeah so you're still going to see some of the padding underneath but you can just see how thin this thing is because this shirt is super thin so if you can actually um, put this shirt over this this uh, body armor then you pretty much can tell that um, it's pretty light and thin so now with this shirt on I don't know I don't know how ventilated it would be actually on the trail I can still feel the breeze blowing through it but not as much as I did with it without this shirt on 
So now it could get hot with an additional shirt overneath it. But I also have a t-shirt underneath the body armor. And I only did that so that I can easily take it off. Because I didn't want it sticking to me. So um, I don't know. I'm definitely not going to wear three pieces of layers on the trail. So I got to figure out how I'm going to do that. Um, I don't know. But anyway, back to the actual uh, the actual product itself. Um, yeah, man, this is something that I definitely think is going to help, um, at least with confidence, if I were to take a fall um, out there on the trail. And again, my major concern was from this area on up to here is what I definitely need to tie in right here. It actually got padding on the collarbone, which is perfect. That's what I need, which I don't see how in the world I would fall right there in my collarbone. But again, it's shattered in three pieces. And so... Um, you know, to this day, I still have to be careful with this arm, and I can't like lift a lot of weight with this arm and things of that nature because of it. So, um, it is what it is. But yeah, if you're looking for body protection, if you can find your size in this thing, um, I highly recommend one. If you're extra large, I'm gonna put a link where I bought mine. I bought the last medium on this particular website, but they do have an extra large left. It's uh, I think it's called Bob Cycles. I'll put the link below to that. Um, I haven't seen anybody sell them on eBay, used or new. Um, Amazon, I only saw the youth sizes, but I'll do some research. And if I sign, find any links out there that have a small, medium, large or extra large, I'll put them in the description below because it will be kind of difficult to find one of these brand new, especially since I think they're older models. But it looks like they would do the job perfectly fine if um I were to fall now this protection this padding right here I would probably say is medium um, you know when I did the reviews on my knee pads and my elbow pads all of those like those PLC's those were all very light protection I'm gonna go as far as to say this is a medium protection it is a soft foam it's not too hard but it's something that definitely can take the impact and take a lot of the um, the uh, force of the impact it can it can um, absorb into this padding um, definitely nothing heavy duty um, this is not heavy duty padding but this is medium more than light so I think this would definitely help when it comes to falls if you haven't invested in any type of body protection I highly recommend it especially if you're new to the sport those who are professionals those who have been doing it for years you pretty much know what you can and can't do um, on, on you know when you're actually out there uh, riding for new and beginners, you know, a lot of times they don't really their confidence isn't there. They don't really know um, what the, the the aspect of how technical the actual trail can be. And so, for you guys, I just highly recommend starting out get some type of body protection. And I do recommend something light. There's a lot of heavy stuff out there, but just get something light to start off, just to have. Um, PLC makes a lot of good light ones. They actually have T-shirts that are protection. They have protection in them, but they're expensive. They can range from anywhere from two to three hundred dollars. This right here, price range was one hundred and nineteen. That's what it retails for. Um, and the sites that I did see the different sizes in, all of them were selling it for retail for one hundred and nineteen dollars, which to me isn't bad. If you know, I can save that money from going to the hospital. Uh, you know, just an ambulance alone or checking into the emergency room is going to be more than a hundred bucks. So, hey, I think it's a well invested. Uh, piece of uh, equipment so other than that guys I just wanted to do a quick review on this um, I'll show you the actual back I don't know if you guys can let me take the camera so this is just another front angle view and I'll just try to get all the angles on there for you side protection so you have here you have it here for my sides for my this is probably down to like my uh, kidney liver area to my uh, left side of my rib cage same thing on this side of these two sections here front you have this is probably down to my belly button stomach whole chest of course underneath the, uh, the neck area and then let's see up here you have all the way this is like near my collarbone of course my shoulder and then my um, bicep area on the side 
and then as far as the back goes I'm not sure I'm gonna have to probably uh, put this down for a second and they show you from the back so you can see I have um, pretty much protection all around the lower back all the way up to the upper spine mid back area all the way to my upper back area and you know I can't really feel and reach all the way around there but basically it's to say is that this thing is well protected man it protects my body that's what it's supposed to do um, just having it on makes me just feel a lot more comfortable um, you know uh, going on some of these trails and doing some of these technical things so this is it guys and you can see I don't know if I can actually show you guys this or not but look at the ventilation all of those holes this thing is just full of like holes so it's very very I don't know if you can see up close here or all the way up here but it's full of holes the whole thing is just very very well ventilated which I definitely need down here in Florida so anyway guys um that's it for the Troy Lee design um, body protective um, shirt and uh, any questions comments below and I've got some more reviews and some more products I, I bought over the Black Friday and Cyber Monday holiday or not holiday but events and um, other than that that's it I catch you in the next video peace